Hello, welcome to Be Encouraged Today Bible Scripture Channel. Today, I am a faceless, inspirational Christian channel. Um, my goal um, channel is to encourage you in the Lord with daily scriptures and Bible prayers and sometimes motivational speeches that I put together um, just for you um, to listen throughout the day or Whenever you get a chance. So if you're not subscribed, please hit the like buttons on the video and subscribe. It really helps out for YouTube to push out the videos to help encourage others out. But I wanted to do a face-to-face um, -face video to give you a word to not give up. Um, it's almost the end of the year. It is December 26th. And um it's the day after Christmas, and I just wanted to give an encouraging word to keep praying. Don't give up. Don't be fooled by what you see, because we are believers who are believing not by sight, um, but by faith. We don't go by sight. We don't go by what we see. We go by our faith. And so to encourage you to keep the faith, um, encourage yourself in the word. Um, I felt the need to get this word out because I know I have been praying. My own testimony is I have been praying for things to happen. Some things have happened. Very little has happened. Um, and sometimes we can be praying and we fast and we're reading the Bible. You know, some uh, messages is killing generational curses off the bloodline. And, you know, you might have done all of that. And none of that is in vain. Stay the course um, and keep praying and keep believing and keep having faith. Because this is the hour where a lot of these believers, we are getting off course. Some of us is just feeling defeated and uh, feeling like our prayers may have not came through yet. And we're still believing for a breakthrough. I too am still believing for a breakthrough in different areas. And I felt that God wanted me to get this message out to you all that feel maybe defeated or your breakthrough haven't came through. Do not get weary in doing good. The Bible talks about how we should not get weary in doing good. We have to stay at the course. Um, also in Matthew 7, 7, it states, and this is Jesus talking. It says to ask and keep on asking. Knock and keep on knocking. And you will find. Seek and keep on seeking. And the door will be open to you. You can find the scripture Matthew 7, 7 through 8. And he goes on to say on verse 8. For everyone who keeps on asking receives. And he who keeps on seeking finds and to him who keeps on knocking he will um who, the door will be open so that's an encouraging word go read that scripture try to find you scriptures that can encourage you yourself in the lord and i also like this scripture where it says psalm 65 11 you crown the year with your bounty and your carts overflow with abundance. Um, and you can go back and change that with you crown the year with abundance. Uh, you crown the year with your bounty and my carts overflow with abundance. And you can put 2023 in there, you know, with that verse, Psalm 65, 11. But I just wanted to make a quick video that God has seen your work. He, your prayers is not in vain. If you were fasting, your fasting is not in vain. We have to stay the course. Don't give up. And know that the Lord heard our prayers and he have answered our prayers. Don't be moved by what you see. Keep the faith and keep on praying. Um, I hope that you guys have a wonderful end of the year. We still have less than a week to still believe. I think it's like five more days left in this year. 
and we can still believe for something to happen. God can make something happen overnight. And so don't lose the faith that he can restore your marriage. He can bless you abundantly. There's so many promises in his word where he's speaking about abundance. He's speaking about abundance in all areas, not just money, all areas of your life, whether it's your career, your family life, your health. And I just want to, I wrote myself some notes. I just want to encourage you with some of those abundant scriptures that says in 2 Corinthians 9 through 8, it says, and God is able to bless me abundantly. So then all things at all times, having all that you need, you will abound in every good work. So God has promised us abundance. He uh, promised us power in there. He has promised us a lot of prosperity, prosperity meaning uh, in our finances, our marriage, in our body of healing, and just over whatever you believe in for. And God is not a man that cannot lie. So I just want to encourage you to continue um, to pray, continue to stand in faith, continue to be in your word, continue to give worship. And these are the things that we have to continue to do to encourage ourselves. We may not see the breakthrough, but the breakthrough has come already. The breakthrough is here. Don't give up. Keep applying the word. Keep applying the pressure. Um, I'm talking to myself as well. There's a lot of things that I have not seen yet that I'm believing for, for a breakthrough. But I encourage myself that just because I don't see it yet does not mean that it has not happened. It already happened in the spirit realm. And it, it, it was just having came down to me yet. Or it may be that God may be moving things around. He's working on our behalf to make it happen. Or he's waiting for certain things to be moved. And it will happen. And it's going to happen because God keeps his word. And we just got to keep strong. Um, keep on worshiping. Worship, worshiping is a good a uh, tactic to release any feelings that may be coming up that is against the word feelings of defeat or depression or angry just put on some music and start giving god the worship because you know he's going to keep his word he made too many promises for for things not to come come through and sometimes we have to just go to God and say, you know, what is it? What else is it that what else what else is it that I might need to do um, for something to break through? And just be quiet and still, and let the Holy Spirit guide you on what that might be. You know, um, I really feel like for myself, it's just to stay the course is just to say the course of continue to praying and giving God the worship and sometimes it's just that it's just that simple um so I just wanted to encourage you to keep strong keep believing that something can happen before the year is out um and don't give up and let's encourage one another in these comments let's encourage one another and whatever you can do, give each other a word, give each other a brief word, a brief hug, and don't lose hope and don't lose courage. Um, so thank you for those that has been viewing the videos, liking them, and let's finish this year strong in the Lord. I pray that you guys have a great um, rest of this year of 2023. And I just would like to pray for you um, real quick um, before we end this prayer. I had prayer points and talk points, but I think that I would like to end it with two scriptures and then we'll pray. Um, Deuteronomy 8, Deuteronomy 28, 12 says, the Lord will open the heavens the storehouse of his bounty to send rain on your land in season 
is to bless all the work of your hands. You will lend to many nations, but will borrow from none. So that's a word from you. That's Deuteronomy 28 and 12. Also, I leave you with this Bible scripture that says in Ephesians 3.20, Now to him who is able to do immeasurable more than all we ask or imagine, according to his power. That's my little girl. Say it, the Lord. So those are some things that we can do and uh, stand on. So let's pray. Father God, your word says wherever two or three are gathered in your name, that your will will be done and that you hear our prayers, Father God. And so we're coming together agreeing that our prayers to be answered. We also pray that you encourage us, Father God, in remembrance of your promises and in your word that you want the best of us, the best for us. Jeremiah 29 11 says you know the plans that you have for us that your plans is to prosper us and not to harm us Father God and we stand on your many promises of your love your peace and your um, prosperity and your abundance in our life you know what each one of us is believing for and I pray that the Holy Spirit guide us and direct us on the righteous path and continue to teach us in the word father god to continue to comfort us and encourage us father god in the mighty name of jesus and you know what our heart's desires are you know what we are praying and believing for you know what um what we need before we ask father god and i just ask that you bless each and every person that is listening right now at this video father god and that you bless them abundantly and that you continue to give them faith continue to um give them strength father god continue to heal them continue for restoration continue abundance in their life and wherever else they need father god you know what they need and i pray that they their prayers will be answered in the name of jesus and i pray that you cover us all in the blood of jesus cover the blood of jesus over our homes our house our children our possessions our cars and i pray that you give each person traveling grace and mercy father god thank you for your mercy and grace father god you have been such a wonderful god to us thank you for getting us through this year it's almost the end of the year and we pray that we all Finish this year strong in the Lord. Finish this, this year of 2023 strong in the Lord um, of peace. And thank you for the peace of mind. Thank you, Father God, for everything that you have given us already. Thank you for everything that you are going to do. And we just give you all the praise and the honor in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. And so I pray that you find this video encouraging to you. And keep the uh, faith, keep on the righteous path, and keep praying and believing. God has heard your prayer, and it will happen for you. Don't give up. Keep praying, keep worshiping, and keep believing in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Have a great and awesome day. Amen.